Hello and welcome to the Chapter 5 lesson. This week we're going to split the lecture up into two parts. So this is Part 1 of Chapter 5. And we'll be talking about ordering medications and reading and interpreting medication labels. So first let's look at reading and interpreting medication labels. In the next two slides I've provided a table diagrams so that you can see the letter in correspondence with the example on the label. So please take a look. And this is a continuation of the examples of the label. Medication labels also include abbreviations that may modify drug forms. So letters behind medication names provide extra information about length of time before execution or strength differences. So I provided table 5.1 for these abbreviations that may modify drug forms. I've also included the common abbreviations used in prescription and medication orders as seen in your book. And abbreviations come from Greek and Latin. Now let's talk about the types of orders. So the first is a verbal order. These are oral orders. They're for specific patients and for designated medications. They should not be used routinely, and you should document as soon as possible after receiving a verbal order. The next is a medication order. Medication orders are used for patient care in inpatient facilities, and they're sometimes used in our ambulatory care situation. Standing orders are standard protocol, should be written and signed by the healthcare provider. Standing orders or standard protocol are for specific situations and should only be used in those circumstances. So there are six components of a medication order. We're looking here at box 5-3, the six components. Date, patient's name, medication name, dosage or amount of medication, route of administration, and if route is not given, oral administration is appropriate. If there is a doubt as to the route of administration, the allied health professional should always ask the physician who ordered the medication. And it also, the sixth one is time or frequency of administration. This concludes the first part of discussing medication orders and also discussing the parts of a medication label.